Hello, people who like to watch vlogs. I'm Ken Domic. How are you? I am in Bradford, Ontario at Harvey's, and today we're doing a food review of a poutine burger. I'm just gonna do a one-camera shoot. Uh, some stuff has come up where I can't do a two-camera shoot. Uh, I've been busy all day, and I need to get this job done possibly tonight or very very early tomorrow morning. Cause I gotta go help family members get some stuff done at their home. So that's extremely important for me to do. So I'm just gonna set up the camera, my lighting. I can't remember if I charge these batteries. I hope I did. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall! There we go. Look at that. Oh, sweet. It worked. It worked, people. Let me see what's going on. So let's get the, the one GoPro. The one super duper GoPro. That wasn't the one. It's, it's like rainy out, but it's also very humid. And as soon as the air conditioner is off, the heat in this car goes through the roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. All right. So we got our camera one, light one. Still got to use lighting because it's dark out. Not dark out. Well, it's cloudy. So we're going to make sure it looks good. If it don't look good, people don't watch. So that's it. Super fast setup. I guess I gotta plug this in. Oh yeah. So I think I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet, ladies and gentlemen, and buy another one of these cameras because it's done really good for me. I'll try and protect the lens. Uh, so I'm gonna buy the lens protector. I'm gonna buy another one of these cameras, put the new lens protector on the new camera. This one's too late but I'll buy another lens protector to protect this one even longer. So then I'll have two of these from now on and I might start using these ones for the, the, um, the food reviews and uh, start bailing on these whole GoPro things. And I also have like little suction cups with a special articulating arm on it that I'll be able to suction cup this camera to the windshield, be able to look at it really quickly with my iPhone, uh, the iPhone app. Uh, or I guess the Sony app for the FDR, is it FDR? Always forget. Yep, FDR X3000, uh, the app that's on my phone, I can flip from camera to camera and make sure it's pointed in the right direction, and then I won't have to worry about that in the future. So let me go in, I'll grab the food. Oh, you guys can come with me, let's go. So I ordered the bacon poutine burger egg with the Angus patty. I don't think I'll be putting anything on that burger. No? It's just, it's got the, yeah, have you put anything on Have you seen anybody say this one tastes better than the other because they put something on it? But you don't want to put anything on a poutine. Honestly, the only thing I see people might put on is like a pickle or two. No, no pickles. No pickles on my poutine. That's so cool. Nice. All right. All right. My fork's already in the bag. Fork's in the bag, but you'll have to grab the napkins, all right? Thank you. Yes, they afterwards. Yeah. All right. He says it's at least a four or five napkin meal, so <laughs> they recognize me. Like, oh, I haven't seen you a long time. I'm like, you haven't had anything new in a long time. So let's get this done. Won't have to eat dinner. Now it's on. Vlog people, uncut and raw, uncut and raw. Vlog people, wave to each other. It's kind of like a inception type deal going on. All right guys, I gotta clean this stuff up, shut off uncut and raw, and then we gotta get out of here. I am now just headed over to the LCBO, which is the Liquor Control Board of Ontario. And uh, I'm gonna get my supplies for tonight. I already have tequila. We had a bottle of it at the cottage and nobody drinks it up there. So I asked my mom if I could steal it. And she said, sure, you might as well take it. 
And again, I'm gonna put a limit on how many shots I'll do of that. I'll have to put it on the wheel. Oh, I hate when I do that. Turn the car off before I do my window up. That's not gonna work. All right, let's go in. I, I was thinking about what beer to get, and I think I'm gonna do Red Stripe, because I like Red Stripe, and then call it the Red Stripe Wheel of Fear. And the most I can drink is six, which is totally doable without getting too crazy. All right, let's go on. They have all these like uh, pop shop drinks with alcohol in them and uh, hard root beer. So we'll do that next week. All right, how are you doing? Okay, I do. Perfect. Tap away. Pizza? Yeah. Uh, not sure. Right. Thanks. Have a great night. You Take too. Care. All right. Let's have a good live show, people. All right. Let's do it. finish off uh, yesterday's vlog uh, got home set up uh, the wheel put all the things on the wheel and everything and uh, yeah putting tequila on there wasn't a great idea so I won't be doing that again <laughs> it's, a, it's a learning curve ladies and gentlemen and uh, that's why I only bought six beers because I thought I could drink six beers no problem but it wasn't the problem of it was the tequila uh, it's not a very nice tasting tequila for me. I've had better tequilas and then this too, too many shots of tequila in a short period of time once again. So, um, I, I it's funny cause I did try to limit it and, uh, like I, I was, I was thinking, you know, six shots of tequila, six beers. Yeah, I should be okay with that, but obviously it didn't happen. So, uh, I won't be doing any hard alcohol ever again on the wheel. So uh, I know a lot of you guys had a lot of fun with it last night, and I shaved my beard for $500. <laughs> so, uh, Matt, thank you very much for, for uh, getting me to shave my beard, because I've been thinking about it for a while, and, uh, and that was the, the, the point right there. So, I like my beard, I enjoy having my beard, but it needed to go uh, and start to grow back again. So, shave the beard, $500 donation. Oh, he gave me a $100 donation to do five shots uh, of tequila, I think <laughs> that's how it started. And then somebody mentioned during the show, would you shave your beard for $500? And I said, sure, thinking there's no way on earth anybody is gonna drop $500. Uh, Cause it was a win-win situation for me. It's, it's either nobody gives it, gives me $500 and I don't shave my beard. I'm fine with that. Somebody drop $500, you shave your beard, Hey, I get a new camera. <laughs> I'm going to actually go and buy a new camera uh, with that money. Uh, so thank you very much, Matt. Uh, amazing support. Um, again, I won't be doing alcohol like that. I'll, I think I'll do, I'll keep beer in it. But again, I'll only have six beers and we'll do either shots of beer, maybe increase the shot of the beer per pledge. Um, and then just put more weird things on there like stinky tofu um, I don't know. I was, I've just been having conversations with family members about, about the show and <laughs> they don't like it. They don't like it. Oh, well, I, I, I apologize to the people. And then there was like some crazy discussion going on on my Facebook with Stephanie LeBlanc and some other people. And, and, uh, yeah, the, the people just find it strange, weird. A lot of people love it. A lot of people don't love it. So but it's, it's amazing that, you know, if I do something else on YouTube that people like and don't like, it doesn't drive a conversation like this has been driving a conversation. Like people are going, getting a little bit rambunctious, I guess, or very opinionated of, about it, not in a negative way, but it's just sharing their opinion. So, but some people are rude about it. Oh, well, no big deal. So thanks Stephanie for sticking up for me. And uh, yeah, everybody has a right to their opinion. And I don't, I don't, people have 
the idea that just because they have an opinion that I delete their comment or whatever, it's not the it's not the the opinion. I don't mind opinions. I don't mind people's opinions. It's when they're rude about it. That's that's the part that I don't like. And it's not even just me who hates the rude people on my channel. My moderators, that's why we started the moderator program. And I've got, I think, 10 moderators now. And they usually delete the rude comments before I even get to see them. So, uh, so it's a lot of people think it's me that's deleting the comments, but it's not. It's my mod moderators getting ahead of me and and, uh, and doing that for me. And I appreciate that because because <laughs> the moderators are viewers just like the people who are rude and the moderators who don't like listening to the, the rude comments they want to be able to control that as well so so it's it's people controlling people i'm not even doing it so <laughs> there you go all right ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna end this vlog i gotta get uh out and help my brother-in-law with some stuff at his house and uh hope you enjoyed this vlog it's kind of a low-key vlog a little bit of a behind the scenes, a little bit of Ken rant, a little bit of face shaving. I think I have to tidy it up because I think I missed some spots. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.